22 elections countdown. I'm beginning here and I'm sitting here with Koroi uh, Lagabakatikui Longlok, who is a youth representative, uh, one of the few who are running for a seat in parliament and who's also uh, representing uh, uh, the constituency of Suwa in uh, his turf. And what's your turf area, Koroi, by the way? My turf area is uh, from Jitu uh, State, right. mm -hmm. the whole Samangula area, uh, Vatuanga, right to Nambua. Okay. And uh, I think it's covering Namandai, Nabil okay. um, Maria, and uh, Tamangula. Okay, so, so the surrounding uh, Tamangula and Nabil is too late. Okay, so if you live <laughs> around those areas, okay, have a good look at this person and I have a good listen to what he stands for and make sure that you vote for Koroi Lakapaka Tikui Lomolomo. He's a young man and he speaks your language uh, for you youths. And as we're talking about youths, remember that we're also very serious about youth issues. Look, we know everyone is going to be out there to come and tell you about uh, issues that matter to you and how they're going to deliver it for you. We have actually taken it on so seriously that from the last year we put out a fiscal explanation for how we are going to be delivering these programs. So now let's go straight to the programs, the policies, okay? Um, uh, for youths, the first thing is education. Education is so important. So come and tell us about it. <coughs> I think so, and, uh, thank you to be in, um, on our education uh, policy. So then we uh, planning to uh, pattern all this uh, Students have debt, eh? right. so that's a good thing. Yes, you know, going into the job market, um, you have a lot of things that you want. Yeah. So I and uh, this uh, new uh, employed uh, youth not being able to buy houses because mm -hmm. they have debt to pay. Huge debts. It, it, you know, it's limiting them from uh, investing in other areas in their lives. Yeah. So half of their lifetime in in their jobs is just about repaying back those debts. Mm -hmm. So so that we will will do that. So Delpa is determined to wipe out all your debts and to make you debt free when you come out of the universities and when you find jobs. At least you, when you start with your, the first paycheck that you receive, that will be all yours, all for your family, all for other things that you'd like to invest in. For you in, in, in your recent future and in the, even after retirement. Yes. We all want to buy houses, we all want to have farms, we all, we all want to run uh, businesses. So. When you remove those debts, you are capable of achieving those other aspirations that you have in your lifetime. <clears throat> and also part of the uh, policy is the free tertiary that we will provide, free, free tertiary fees. We have more mature classes. Uh, Review the Education Act, emphasize more specific training, strengthen teachers, teacher qualities, and reintroduce the trap, tripartite collaborations. And uh, I think so with uh, this token, having more mature classes, yeah. gives that uh, freedom and that opportunity, especially to the Toki community that have been uh, disadvantaged mm -hmm. and maligned by a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so the majority of our, of our children have, uh, you know, could not access education uh, because of uh, other costs, mm -hmm. transportation, right. accommodation, even lunch. And even lunch, lunch we don't go to school without lunch. So it's a reality. We, in that, um, you know, we're thankful to Sadelpo for such an issue. Mm -hmm. And when you when you have free tertiary, when you have a high literacy level in a country, mm -hmm. you you solve uh, two thirds of the country's problems. Mm -hmm. First of all, when you have um, high literacy, you improve health yes. because people are more conscious. People, uh, you know, are into family planning, into medical health. Mm -hmm. uh, you will uh, promote. Uh, and learning and you know you'll build skills for the you'll, be, you'll benefit the economy and you'll create jobs one thing is that it will help promote gender equality people are you know, open-minded about all this uh, people will be you know literacy high literacy promotes democracy and peace yes. you know uh, Ban Ki Moon said illiteracy weakens communities and undermines democracy yes. what's happening in Fiji is that you know I think so with all this recent um, uh, exchanges in Sotel, but that's democracy. Yes. Where you disagree to agree and you agree to disagree. Right. That's democracy. And why aren't people taking that on board? Mm -hmm. Because exactly. they, they do not understand the concept of democracy. And finally, literacy builds self esteem and oh. overall quality of life. So when you have high literacy, mm -hmm. you, 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 I think, you empower the whole community. Mm 
Thank you. You get people on a more level playing field. You never do. The very reason why uh, Sodelpa is behind education. Sodelpa policy says that education is uh, the very uh, basis of uh, development and prosperity. And that is why we're bringing free tertiary education. Matua classes are going to be made more available right across the nation for those who fall through the gaps, who fall through the gaps, uh, do not complete their secondary school level education. Uh, we've also got the Shabenga concept for those who uh, actually drop out of school in primary level, they can go through the uh, Champagne concept thanks to the Maris Brothers uh, and, and the institution called Masi Champagne. We decided to take a leaf out of their book and we'll be doing that right across Fiji. And we also will be giving you trades and upskilling across our nation for everybody. And the best part is. Mm -hmm.